اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمین السلام علیکم تو اول برادرز اند سیسترز ایت از مای آنر اند پلیجر تو بی هیر وید یو دی ریل اوبیدینس اف گاد all good friends and brothers from the city of Mombasa all brothers from the Shiite uh, create that we are a united um, um, collected uh, people before God and uh, beyond the borders so this is the message that I'm here to uh, here with you and it's my privilege to give you some words in commemorating uh, the uh, late Sheikh Abdullahi Nasser Juma. Um, we have gathered here today to commemorate the second anniversary of the sad demise of the late Sheikh Abdullahi Nasser Juma, a prominent personality and a scholar who contributed immensely to propagation of Mazhab, uh, mazhab of Ahlul Bayt السلام, in East Africa and beyond. May Allah bless his soul with the shafa'at of Bibi Zahra السلام. As we remember Shaykh Abdullah Nasser, we pay tribute to a highly revered scholar, a literary genius, and a man of God, a man with impeccable character. He was an inspiration to many, and he still is. Sheikh Abdullah Nasser's contribution to the Swahili language and Islamic literature were both extensive and profound. He has written valuable books on the Swahili language and numerous others on Islam, some of which found resonance not only in our local communities, but also transcended linguistic boundaries being translated into English and other languages like Rwandese. Many of us fondly remember Sheikh Abdullah Nasser, Nasser's engaging and thought-provoking question and answer sessions on KBC radio which garnered him significant attention. Despite facing challenges due to his alignment with the teachings of Ahlul Bayt he remained steadfast. Sheikh Abdullah Nasser founded the Islam, the, uh, the Imam Khomeini Rahmatullah Alayhi Corner at Jama'a Mosque, providing a platform to impart knowledge on Islam and the Islamic revolution of Iran. The impact of Sheikh Abdullah Nasser extended far beyond the walls of Jama'a Mosque, reaching communities in Pumavani, Kibera, Riruta, Majengo, and educational institutions such as the University of Nairobi and Kenya of Polytechnic. His influence attracted the attention of the Embassy of the Islamic Republic of Iran, who recognized his unwavering support for the Islamic Revolution. His influence reached international platforms, earning him invitations to important conferences in Iran, including the Imam Khomeini anniversary interreligious conferences Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam World Assembly and the World Forum for Proximity of Islamic Schools of Thought conferences, as well as visiting holy shrines in Iran and Iraq. Over the years, he engaged with successive Iranian ambassadors to Kenya and cultural counselors, the one that I have lost the opportunity to meet the late Sheikh, showcasing his enduring commitment to promoting Islamic principles and fostering cross-cultural understanding. My presence here today 
shows our unwavering support to Sheikh Abdullah Nasser's family and friends, and the Islamic Republic of Iran acknowledges his active and dedicated role in serving the school of Ahlul Bayt, Salamullah Alayha. In conclusion, let us reflect on the profound impact of Sheikh Abdullah Nasser's life and, and work. May we honor his memory by continuing to uphold the values he cherished and by striving to bridge the gaps between cultures, fostering understanding and unity. Indeed, his legacy lives on through the, the countless lives he touched and the enduring connections he forged. Um, usually when men leave, they in the end could take and leave what they take with themselves to bring to the other world, to the doomsday, be for the God, for the counting and accountation day, and what they leave as the legacy for the generations after the generations. Sheikh Abdullah Nasser had done both, has collected a lot of goodness, right doings taken with him before the God and has left a very precious, long-lasting legacy for Shia and the unity of the Shia in here in, the, in Mombasa and Kenya. So that's why we call him a real man of God. God bless his soul and God bless all of us. And I would also like to remember one other thing that because of the history of the common history and the good memories of Iranians regarding the Kenyan, especially the Mombasa people, we have all uh, good friends, brothers and sisters of Shiite communities here. We have also good friends and brothers of Baluchi uh, brothers here who their traces back to the history when they helped um, the uh, Mombasa people uh, in past centuries. So the legacy of Iranian, the presence here is much more valuable for us. And I'm uh, very much happy that I'm here with you and thank you so much for invitation that has been extended to the embassy to myself. And I'm uh, also very happy that I have my brother, uh, Mr. Nazari, the cultural consultant who has arranged and coordinated for this gathering and for this presence of myself here. So again, thank you so much. And uh, I wish all you success and prosperity in your life, inshallah. Thank you so much again.